What's up, YouTube? Cleaners Connect, Facebook. What's up, guys? So, I uh, wanted to show you something. I did these floors last week. The customer just wanted the floors buff. But remember, they have a house cleaner that comes every two weeks. We all know that sometimes the house cleaners use certain products that they shouldn't use on these floors. So, she said, Courtney, and it's not everywhere, but she called me uh, last week before they went out of town. She said, certain areas, we can still see footprints. And that was after I buffed out the floors. I already knew what it was, guys. It's still residue on the floors. So I told her I would have to come back and instead of buffing the floors, I would have to wash the floors. She said, that's fine, Courtney. Well, how much more do we owe you? I told her, I said, you know what, Trish, just give me 150 bucks. It won't take me long to do it. It's basically just residue on the floors that need to be washed off. So I'm out here today. Uh, she's No one's here. She left the uh, door open for me. Also, too, guys, let me show you uh, before heading here, because Mikey's face is in, uh, is in the next couple of days. So we got 45 Cleaner Connect uh, nice, beautiful t-shirts made for all the members. So look at that, guys. Look at those nice Cleaner Connect t-shirts. I can't wait to put mine on. I'm actually going to put me one on. Well, not today because I'm going out with my wife tonight. We're going to celebrate Valentine's Day early. But um, I'm just excited, guys, about those shirts just to see um, what we've done with this group. So as you guys can see, I just got some defoam. And again, uh, I know squeaky clean does not foam up the way it's doing in my tank. So if you look here, see how dirty that water is and see the squeaky clean. So that lets me know that I'm removing a lot of residue from these floors. So the, so the point of this video is that a lot of cleaners all, always ask me about cleaning hardwood floors. Uh, you can see my, my lint house. And there's just a small area just in the kitchen and then straight down this foyer right here. And then what I'm done is going to take my microfiber mop and just kind of do an even, um, you know, cleaning. So you kind of see where I've cleaned it. So that's where it's pulling that residue off. So what it's doing, guys, is that when you clean hardwood floors, you're going to need some kind of tool that can wash the uh, floors. Buffing it is not going to really give you a washing um uh washing results or effect you want to need something like you know i have the dirt dragon and the lint hoss so with that being said when you have too much residue on the floors um and usually you can tell because uh footprints or the floors might have like a sticky feel it didn't have a sticky feel on these floors but again when i walked in and just look looking from certain angles i can see the footprint she was talking about actually if you look close you can see one, trying to get an angle right there. See right there, see that footprint? So there's just basically too much residue on the floors that needs to be taken off. And the only way uh, to remove that residue is to neutralize it. So that's why I'm using nothing but squeaky clean. So what I'm just giving you guys a tip, when you're doing hardwood floors, if you want to get into hardwood floor cleaning, um, you can do, use a buffer, but in certain situations like this, uh, buffer is not going to be your best resort. You're going to need some kind of washing um, uh, tool to wash your floors. So your dirt dragging, your lint hosses, uh, any other floor extractor is going to wash your floors. But really, your 175s with red pads, white pads, it's going to clean the floors, but it's not going to give you a full cleaning as if you was using a device like this. So that's why I like the lint hoss because again, when I got small areas like this, where I might only have to fill up my little tank one or two times, it's perfect. But then when I get my big job, that's why I got the dirt dragging for the big open areas where, you know, it, 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 I can get more done without stopping and filling up, stopping and filling up. So I use my lint hoss, like I said, for little touch-ups and I can already see how well these floors are coming out where I'm cleaning with the squeaky clean. So I'm just seeing that residue come off. So there's a lot of residue on these floors and that's why I always advise my customers not to put those store-bought products on the floors because these are, uh, this is, you know, uh, um, what can happen to your floors leaving too much residue behind. So, uh, and then of course, just by looking at the water, you can just see how dirty that water is. Um, so, there's some dirty water right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up guys and uh I haven't used my lint house in so long. Um and I got one more job after this, and I got four tomorrow. 
And I got, uh, I just called my buddy Kevin and uh, checking his schedule. So he's going to ride with me tomorrow. We got four tomorrow. And then Friday and Saturday, I'll be at Mikey's Fest. So uh, hopefully I'll see some of you guys soon. And uh, we're about to have a good time this weekend. So, all right, guys, let me go ahead and uh, finish this uh, job. Finish uh, washing these floors. And um, get to my next one. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a, a demonstration of the Lynn House. What I did, I just dumped the dirty water, very, very dirty. So, again, it lets me know that I'm removing that residue that was holding on to that soil uh, on these floors. So, you can see my Lynn House. I dumped it. Uh, it's empty. Dirty water, dirty water uh, side is empty. Squeaky clean right here. Um, and I just put a scoop of defoamer inside that. So, I want to give you guys a quick demonstration because this is the part that a lot of people like to see I'm trying to get my uh cord over my shoulder so i can uh, maneuver this there we go okay so just hit that now excuse my lint house you see the little part right there missing uh i was backing up into the driveway one time and i luckily i didn't break it but i kind of hit it and uh kind of damaged it on the side but it still worked um just got just that little button missing out, but it's still functioning and works fine. All right, here we go. So the Lynn House does have a brush on it, just like the Dirt Dragon, so it scrubs the floors as you're cleaning. But the floor, the, the scrub brush comes on uh, with the machine. The only thing that does not come on that you have to press the button is to release the uh, the uh, cleaning solution and also the vacuum. So you can actually use the Lynn House as a pre-scrub agitation tool before you decide to extract the floors. So here we go. One thing I like about this tool, guys, it recovers the water uh, very good. It does not leave too much water down on the floors. Like I said, it's a great tool. You're looking at about half the price of a Dirt Dragon, brand new. I think I paid 14 for this and about, uh, about three grand for my Dirt Dragon. So again, I love these tools, both of them. But as you see, in a situation like this, the Lynn House is perfect. When you see like little debris, even with the dirt dragon, so you see like some debris on the ground, sometimes you gotta kinda prop it up a little bit and get it on your backstroke. And it'll suck it right up. On the front on the front stroke, it usually just pushes it, pushes the debris. So when you're coming back, just kind of tilt it back a little bit.
All right, guys, so I can kind of hear the vacuum kind of uh, getting weak. That lets me know that it's building up a lot of foam, as you can see. All right, so you see that? So I still have enough solution to finish the rest of these floors. So let's just show you guys. Look how dirty that water is. Let's dump this in the toilet and show you guys how dirty this water. Look at that. Make sure I flush that. So just watch this, guys. Yeah. Alright, so there it is. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish up here. Um, get to my last one. And thanks again for watching. Courtney Truman Steam Method. Let me fin fill this up one more time just in case. And like I said, I'm gonna get a uh, I'm gonna get my uh doodle bug microfiber mop and then just kind of you know clean uh just wipe the floors dry before I'm done. Make sure there's no footprints or residue left behind. Alright guys, see you in the next one.